charismatic Christian leaders still believe that Trump will be president. They say the election is not over. They continue to argue that Trump will be re-elected. Several charismatic Christian pastors and leaders who proclaim that President Donald Trump would be re-elected are maintaining that the election is not yet over and are holding fast to their predictions. The former Vice President Joe Biden has been declared the projected winner by many mass media outlets and Biden and his running mate, U.S. Senator Kamala Harris of California, have also declared victory, a cadre of charismatic evangelical leaders who prophesied that Trump would serve two terms as standing by their words and that the 45th U.S. President will yet serve another four years in office. The rocks are about to move and Trump will be president no matter what you hear, said Kurt Carr, a self-described revelator in a recent live stream of Elijah List, a hub where many charismatic voices publish prophetic words and spiritual insights. I will start with a phone call and I can tell you, you will be shocked to see how much exposure comes from that, but Trump will win and he will be President of the United States. He will sit in that office for four more years and God will have his way in this country. Pastor Kent Christmas of Regeneration Nashville whose words at September 26th intercessory prayer event, The Return in Washington, D.C., about a great revival coming to America, went viral, said in Saturday update on his YouTube channel that he knows many people are disheartened with the apparent election results, but that he did not believe they were final, despite some who are apologizing for proclaiming Trump would win. This is not political, Christmas said. This is not about Donald Trump or Joe Biden or politics or Democrats or Republicans. This is a war between heaven and hell and it's about the destiny of this nation. One of the things that God is doing is he's knocking the silliness out of the church. We have for so long had a hazard and lackadaisical approach and we've been so used to everything just working for us that we just assume that it's going to work. Satan is not going to give up and permit the church to assume its destiny, he continued. The Lion of Judah is going to roll again in this nation. This story, the ending has not yet been written. You cannot listen to what the enemy is saying. You cannot allow the indicators that you are seeing in the natural begin to shape your faith. Mike Thompson, who pastors Word of Life Church in Las Vegas area and who has also said Trump will be re-elected, said both in Saturday Update and Sunday Sermon that the prophetic voices have not missed it and that the Lord impressed upon him that amid the ongoing election drama that he was to give Moses a chance to win. I realize that right now there is going to be a lot of persecution coming against the prophets and those are in the prophetic and those who are followers of the prophets. He said, he believes that the election will ultimately be decided in the courts, likely the United States Supreme Court. All of this is about revival. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ, not a political candidate, he said. In a November 4th email that was sent to his supporters and was forwarded to the Christian Post, Jeremiah Johnson of Jeremiah Johnson Ministries said he too did not believe that the election was complete and that Biden would soon preemptively declare himself the winner. Either a lying spirit has filled the mouth of numerous trusted prophetic voices in America or Donald J. Trump really has won the presidency and we are witnessing a diabolical and evil plan unfold to steal the election, Johnson wrote, adding he strongly believed it was the latter. Johnson elaborated that he had a dream earlier this year that he believed was about the presidential race in which Trump was running the Boston Marathon. About a hundred yards from the finish, he tripped and fell down and he could not get up and the crowd was spitting on him. They were jeering at him 
and suddenly two older women who I knew were baby boomers somehow made their way through the crowd and supernaturally lifted Donald Trump up and helped him get to the finish. I believe God is calling on baby boomers in this nation to take your stand and believe with me that the best is yet to come. Christian rap artist Marcus Rogers has also long maintained the Holy Spirit showed him that Trump would serve as president for another four years. Until every prophetic word, including the prophetic words from last year about the elections going to the Supreme Court fall, I'm going to stand. If all of those words fall to the ground and Biden walks into the office on January, I will take a long break from Facebook to go hit the prayer closet fast and ask God what went wrong with my vision after I go live and admit to missing it. Until I see all those words fall in front of my eyes, I will stand on this even if I stand alone, he wrote on Friday on his Facebook page. He reiterated that he believes Trump will eventually win in light of what he believes God has prepared in advance. God had a ram in a bush before the sacrifice, Joseph in Egypt before the famine, Esther in the palace before the plot, a lamb slain before the foundations of the earth before the scene, an angel on the way to Daniel before he saw it manifest, he added in a subsequent post on Sunday. God told me this morning, I already had things in position before there was a problem. God has already strategically placed people in certain positions. What God is about to do is so strategic that even atheists are going to doubt themselves and question what they believe. Not every charismatic leader is defending their previous statements. Chris Valoton, senior associate leader of Bethel Church, a charismatic mega church in Redding, California, that is a home to School of Supernatural Ministry, is calling his prophesying that Trump will win a big mistake. I was completely wrong, Valoton said. I take full responsibility for being wrong. There is no excuse for it. I think it doesn't make me a false prophet but it does create a credibility gap. A lot of people trust me and trust my ministry. I want to say that I'm very sorry for everyone who put their trust in me and that there was this major, major mistake. At this point, all we can do is wait as we continue to pray for the best and as we continue to pray for a free and fair election that everything will come out in the light and in the end, truth will prevail.